anyway, my mother uh, carried on Grandmother Smoot's um, plans of, of gardening. And, uh, oh, I forgot to say, by the way, that Grandmother Smoot had such good luck. And in those days, there was only one florist in town, the Hilliers, H-I-L-L-Y-E-R family. Mm -hmm. And uh, occasionally, uh, you know, feast or famine, he might have so many calls for flowers at one time, funerals or weddings mm -hmm. or whatever, that he just didn't have enough. And so he'd come out here and get whatever grandmother had blooming to, uh, to use. And she furnished flowers for the church and so forth. Mm -hmm. Well... Uh, mother fell right in with all that, and uh, she kept the flowers going in the gardens around the house. Uh, all of the the areas out in the yard space that are bordered by rocks, by decorative rocks, the honeycomb rocks or the fossilized rocks, all of those have been flower beds and were kept up. Uh, very beautifully. I wish you could have seen them when the mother had them in such beautiful condition and always thriving and blooming. I, I don't have that luck. I, I, uh, I am trying, I have tried to keep them going, but I guess my efforts are somewhat uh, watered down. Maybe I uh, scatter my shot, but I'm trying to do what four of us used to do, and I don't I do a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit yonder, and I, I don't do any of it well. And this bothers me greatly. It's, it's against my nature. But anyway, I, I simply have not been able to keep them going. But Mother did, and uh, she certainly had wonderful results. Now, she also loved animals, and uh, I don't know what it was. She never pampered animals. She was not the kind to pick up a dog or a cat in her lap and... Mm -hmm. and cuddle it or anything like that. Never, never mm -hmm. that. But for some strange reason, they all just adored her and followed her around, and they would obey her when they wouldn't obey the rest of us. And Daddy always said, well, she feeds them. Well, of course, that's part of it, undeniably. <laughs> but there was more to it than that, because he fed them too, and so did I. But they would go to her, and they would mind her, and... Uh, we had one old dog, for example, no matter where Mother was in the yard, that dog was right behind her with the tip of his nose right on the hem of her dress. And no matter where <laughs> she went, he went. And she didn't call him, and if she turned, he turned. It was, it was really comical to see. Mm -hmm. 